In this strategy video, I'm going to play a game of solitaire and look for ways to share about playing with jokers, especially when it comes to etiquette. Just in case an opportunity doesn't come up to where I can share about the primary rule about etiquette around jokers, I'm going to mention it right here and now. Don't reach into a player's rack to take a joker. You hold it out and you say, exchange please. It's not your joker until it's given to you. Then you can take it and use it. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls. That way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles. East gets 14, South, West, and North get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. We don't have any multiples here except for the flower. I want to try to use that. We do have a nice consecutive run here. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe we could do something with news. Although the news hand in consecutive run doesn't use flowers. Never mind. I want to use these flowers. So let's see, what else could we do? Maybe three, six, nine. We have a gap of no nine, but we have both of the sixes there. And that gives us tiles to pass. No joker bait in this situation. Let's pass those. Let's see what we can do now for south. We have a pair of sixes. Here's a six, three, six. I think we should play three, six, nine. We've got lots to work with, with three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We don't need to pick a hand yet, but there are several options. If I had to pick a hand to work with, I might consider the third or fourth hand down and maybe try to use some joker bait or we could play like numbers with sixes. Let's start by passing those. For this player, we have seven, eight, nine, five, seven, nine. I think either consecutive run five through nine or big odds, five, seven, nine. Let's keep the five and let's pass one of each suit. No joker bait here, not yet. Let's see what North has. For this player, we have a four or five dot we should use that if possible. Maybe we could play something consecutive. There's big gaps right here. Or maybe we could play news with a run. Let's pass those three. We're ready for the Charleston. East passes to south. South to west, west to north. North to east. We got a seven crack. There is a pair hand. We'd have to sacrifice a joker though. No joker bait yet. I think we could maybe give up the six here and focus on a run. So let's pass those three or maybe those three. 6-4, both odds. This way, little odd, big odd, and an even. 
For here, we're looking for 369 or like numbers with sixes. Here, we're looking for big odds. We got a five. And here now, we have a one, two, two. I would not pass two bams like that. Let's, let's mix it up. Maybe this would be better. Here, we're looking for consecutive run. Three, four, five news. There is a concealed hand that uses three numbers in a sequence with news. The last hand under consecutive run. Let's pass those three. No joker bait yet. So we're going to go across now, east and west, north and south. We're looking for cracks. All these can go. Oh, joker bait. That's a little bit risky, but let's keep that and see if we can get jokers out of it. We got a six, three, six, nine, or like numbers with sixes. We have to make a choice. I think we should play like numbers with sixes. I don't like passing dragons if I don't have to. So I think we should hold them. Let's pass those three. Focus on like numbers with sixes. We got a seven. So here we have five, seven, seven, nine, maybe. We have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. Not yet. Stay flexible. This is the best way to stay flexible, I think. Oh, we got a south. We need singles for news though. That seven I think is a little far. There is a seven run pair hand, pairs one through seven. Let's give up the south. We want to cross, now we're gonna do first left, north to west, west to south, south to east, east to north. Five, nine, joker bait. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's give up the nine, the flowers here. Let's try to use these flowers. If we did a one suit consecutive run, we need dragons. We have no dragons. What about a one, three, five hand? That's pretty slim. What if we switched from cracks to bams? One, three, three, five. One, three, three, five with dragons. One, three, we don't have five bams. I was thinking the third hand from the bottom. I'd like to use these. We could do like numbers with ones. Or we could do a two, four, six, eight hand. Two, four, six, eight, like numbers with ones, one through. Let's give up the three, uh, three bam and give up also. We do have one, three, five, seven, nine, actually. Instead of two, four, six, eight, Let's do one, three, five, seven, nine. There's no gaps here. So let's pass those three. We're looking for sixes. We're looking for, oh, we got a wind, news. Five, seven, nine with news. Five, seven, nine with news. That would be the last hand under, under odds. Let's pass. Six, 
7 bam. We could still do 7, 8, 9 with news. And that would be the last hand under consecutive run. <gasps> Look what we got. Four, five, six news. We don't, we need a pair. Five, six, seven. We have to make a choice or we have one through seven. Let's pass the wins. That's a little risky, but I think we could maybe play a pair hand here or we could break this up just a little because we really only need a pair. Even if we did one through five consecutive run the first hand, we only need a pair. If we did... The pair hand, we have two pair right there. Let's pass those three. We're gonna do second left. So east passes to north, north to west, west to south and south to east. We got a two. I would love to use the flowers. One, two, three, dragon. One, we don't have it the right two. We need a two crack or a two dot. Or we could play like numbers with ones. Or something with little odds. Let's pass those three and focus on little odds or like numbers with ones. We were looking for sixes, no joker bait anywhere. We've got an east, we've got our news, five, seven, nine with news or seven, eight, nine with news. Let's pass a white dragon. We have no gaps. I would risk it. Normally I don't like to pass that. We have tiles we can pass. So we did second left, now we're going across. East and west, north and south. We do have a north. There is a like number hand with news. I don't like to pass white dragons if I don't have to. And there are tiles to pass. We're in between little odds. Now we did get a five. One, three, five with cracks with the red dragon. One, five, three, red. We really don't have to go further. We have tiles to pass. Let's see what we can do here. We got a six and joker bait. There we go. There's joker bait right there. So we do not need six twos. We have sixes. We're playing like numbers, maybe all sixes with a pair of flowers. Let's risk passing those so we can keep joker bait. We picked up a nine and there's tiles to pass. Seven, eight, nine. I think we could probably give that up now. Seven, eight, nine with news concealed. Kong, pair, Kong is what we need eventually. No keepers there. That was second across. Now we're gonna do last right. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, and then west up to north. We're looking for one, three, five. We did get a one crack for potential either joker bait or like numbers with ones. I would hold that. And I think I would give up the north as opposed to passing a white, especially with a two, because that would fit a year hand. 
No joker bait here. Let's look here. We're looking for sixes. Didn't get any. We have joker bait. We need seven, eight, nine with news. Let's keep the white and pass the five. We got a five dot. We don't need it. We got it back. Let's pass those three for optional cross. That's where we are. Optional cross. So east and west, north and south. One, three, five, or one, three, five. One, three, five, one, three, five. We've got dragons. Let's look at the one, three, five hands. There is no one, three, there is a one, three, five with matching dragons. Second hand down from the second from the bottom under odds. One, three, five, or one, three, five matching dragon. Let's just, let's definitely give up the white and then maybe play like numbers with ones. Either one, three, five with dragons, second hand from the bottom, or like numbers with ones. So we could pass those three or those two. No keepers here. We have news already. We need seven, eight, nine. Those are all discards. All discards. We can just put this in here. Okay. We are now ready for discarding. I wanted to share a couple other things about etiquette and tells at the table in regards to jokers. If somebody discards a tile and you hear a gasp at the table, or there's a delay, a hesitation with a certain player on any given tile, make a mental note of that. And if you have those tiles, hold them for potential joker bait or joker switch. Also, if a player discards a tile that could have been exchanged in an exposure for a joker, don't say anything. Either they forgot and would feel bad for being called out on it, or two, they did it intentionally. Maybe they're playing a pair hand. Calling attention to a player discarding a joker is bad form. So avoid doing that. Watch your tells, don't gasp, don't lament, poker face, and be kind. It'll go a long way. Let's get back to the game. With joker bait especially, timing is critical. You want to hold on to joker bait as long as you can. By around the middle of the third wall, you discard one. If somebody bites, makes an exposure with a joker on your next turn, you make the exchange with what's left in your hand. Let's see if we can make it work. We'll have East start with discarding the white dragon. This player has joker bait. Five dot. Let's discard the South. We're going to use this to mark whose turn it is. They're good to go. News. Eight bam. That's not really helpful. Let's discard the North. Nine crack. Let's get rid of this four bam. It's kind of arbitrary at the beginning what you throw. Just throw what you don't need. All these are discards. Three bam. That's a keeper. Look at that. This could be joker bait. Let's discard the three crack. This is uh, exposable, so we can call. Let's see, one, three, five in pairs. 
And then Kongs of Flowers in the Dragon. We're going to draw one crack. Let's discard this two bam and draw Joker. Here we need Kong, pair Kong. Let's get rid of the white dragon. Three dot, paired up. Pair, pair, pair. We'll have to get rid of that. Let's discard the nine crack. Eight bam. Let's discard that. Nine dot. Let's get rid of the one crack up here. This player was thinking about like numbers with ones, but I think they're stronger here. They have another multiple to build around. I think I would let that go, and this probably won't pan out as joker bait because nobody else took it. Nine dot. I should have thrown the eight bam and the two bam. Those are both out. Five bam. Let's throw seven crack. Doesn't look like people want cracks. Down here. Eight dot. Let's throw five crack and draw. Two bam, that's been discarded. Red, uh, we might be able to use that. Let's throw the two bam. Seven dot, that is a keeper. One, two, three, four pair so far. Let's throw the five crack. Eight dot, there's joker bait right there. Let's throw the one dot. Four dot, nine dots been thrown. Let's discard that. Green, let's discard eight bam. Three crack. West. Flower. They needed that. It's joker bait. Let's get rid of the four crack. Nine bam. Two dot, pair, 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 pair. We're gonna discard this five bam. So we need to discard that and they'll be ready to win. We need a one dot or a six dot to get ready. Let's draw for east in a minute. We just went through the second wall. We're now heading into the third wall. So everybody should know what category they're in. This player is playing little odds here, like numbers, here, consecutive run, and here, a pair hand. Now, if they draw a joker, they could potentially switch to one through five, right here. Oh, they don't need this five either way, but they could pung and pung. We need a joker for the three. So depending on what you have, if a joker comes in and you're playing a pair hand, you might consider switching from a pair hand to whatever category matches your pair hand. In this case, consecutive run. We're going to draw three bam. Now we need pairs here, but let's keep it because we could maybe switch to the Third hand down, pair of flowers, and then Kongs of one, three, five, and one suit. The one crack was thrown and nobody wanted it, so let's go ahead and discard that. So you can prioritize your joker bait. Nobody wanted the one crack, so we can downgrade it and hold on to the eight dots. Seven crack, 
that's a discard. Here, this is concealed, so we can't call for that. Three dot, seven bam, let's throw seven bam and draw. Four crack. Oh, one crack. Maybe that like number hand with ones could have come in. Four bam, we don't need that. East, we don't need a pair. We just need singles in news. Eight crack. One bam, that's a keeper. Let's give up the dragon and the one here and focus on Kongs. We were, were a little light on the five bam there. Let's throw the one crack. Nine dot. Joker. So here we need it here and here. We need a pair here. Let's throw the three dot. This player does have an opportunity for the very first hand under consecutive run, but they only have two tiles. They need to have three so they could make a Kong out of it. So they can't take that. We need to draw. Two dot. I don't think this is gonna help. We're playing that pair hand. I think I would push, push to make it work. Let's discard the five dot because the two we could maybe use if we get a joker and switch to one through five, because this would need to be a pung, this would need to be a kong, and this would need to be a pung. Let's just wait and see what happens. Eight bam. Four bam. Nine dot. One bam. We're going to Kong it. Discard the green dragon. Red, we don't need that. These are both probably safe. Flower. Now, I don't think we need flowers here. We do not. Let's get rid of it now. Down here, we need four flowers, I think. No, we need a pair, so we're good to go. Green. Joker. Oh, yeah, they needed that. Now, we're in the middle of the third wall. This is when you want to get rid of your joker bait. And that timing just worked out for this player because now they're set. They can Kong here, Kong here, one or the other, and they'll be ready to win. Let's discard the eight dot. So try to get rid of your joker bait by the end of the third wall and start thinking about getting rid of it in the middle game. In the middle of the middle game, like this right here, probably ought to be discarded right about now. We have a north. Let's hold on to it for just a little while longer. North. Eight crack, that is a needed pair right there. Let's throw the green dragon. They're one away from ready. We need a Kong here and a Kong here. This is supposed to be a pair. Kong, pair, Kong with news. Three dot, okay now. I'm wondering if we should go ahead and switch from the pair hand. There's one, one dot out. This is when you gotta think about whether or not to give up on a pair hand. We have three discards if we give up the pair hand, including joker bait right there. Or if we stick with the pair hand, we would have two discards. Let's stick with it. We could use jokers for all of these, the two or the three. Let's throw the two dot. Three crack. 
seven dot discard. Five bam. Probably could have thrown that red. We're going to Kong and discard the eight dot. Drawing four south. Eight dot was discarded. That's a safe discard. Drawing for west. Six crack. Let's go ahead and discard that red dragon. It was inevitable. Drawing four north. Eight bam. They need a one dot or a six dot. And there's one one dot out. No six dots are out. We're going to draw down here. Seven dot. Nine bam. Oh, we need to get rid of that. We're heading into the, we have two more picks in the third wall. Joker. Six crack, discard. So they're ready to win on a seven crack or a nine crack. We're going to Kong the sixes. That took a while to get there. Let's discard the two crack. In this case, nobody wants it, so that's a safe discard. Let's draw. We're going to exchange for Mahjong. When you exchange for a joker, hand it to them and say exchange, please. Don't reach into their rack and take it. That's just really polite. In this case, of course, we're going to do it ourselves because we're by ourselves. That's kind of part of solitaire. You're by yourself. So we won by exchanging a joker. So we have news, seven, eight, nine, concealed. Self-picked, 30-point hand, each player widows 60 points. In this case, no joker bait came to fruition, but we had a ready player here, and one away from a pair hand here, three discards, so they were trailing. As you can see with joker bait, it's all about timing, and sometimes joker bait doesn't pan out, but at least you know they're safe discards if nobody wants them. So that's a nice consolation, I think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy video, may all your picks be keepers.